Welcome to this Excel tutorial, where we'll unravel the method of summing values based on a criteria list in another column. In this session, we'll explore two efficient methods, the formula-based approach using the SUMIF function and the PowerPack pivot table. Let's delve into the intricacies of each method. Suppose we have two lists in Excel. One list records the product serial numbers. These serial numbers can be duplicate, and the other list records the sales volume for products accordingly. To calculate the total sales volume, normally we can use SUM function in Excel. But if we only want to sum the sales volume for only one product, how can we do? In a traditional way, we can do filter firstly to filter out the product we want, then calculate the total values one by one. But this way is boring and time-consuming especially the data amount is large. We need to find another simple way to sum values for specified product to meet our requirement. This free tutorial will introduce you a convenient way to sum total values based on criteria. Let's see the first method, utilizing a formula-based approach with the SUMIF function to sum values based on criteria in another column. Copy product column to another column first. On column D, click Data in Ribbon. Then click Remove Duplicate under Data Tools group. Remove Duplicates dialog pops up. Just click OK. The you will notice that duplicate values are removed from column D. All products are unique. Select a blank cell next to the filtered product list, for example E2, enter the following formula. Equals SUMIF. Dollar a two dollars. Dollar a nineteen dollars. D2, dollar B2 dollars. Dollar B19 dollars. Click enter to get result. Verify that total income is calculated properly. Drag the fill handle down till the end of list. Verify that total income is calculated properly for each product. Moving on to the second method, let's explore the power of pivot tables to sum values based on a criteria list. Select the range A1, B19. Then click Insert in Ribbon. Click Pivot Table to create a pivot table for the selected range. Create Pivot Table dialog pops up. Choose the location to save pivot table. We choose existing workbook and started cell G1 to save it. Then click OK. On pivot table field screen, check on product and income, move product under rows. Select, Sum of Income, under Values. Verify that pivot table for the selected range is inserted properly. You can select the small arrow button to select product to see the sum of income. These steps should guide you through both methods, allowing you to choose the one that best fits your needs. Adjust the ranges and parameters as necessary for your specific dataset. Thanks for watching. Whether you choose the precision of the SUMIF function for direct criteria based summation or opt for the dynamic capabilities of pivot tables to sum values based on criteria, you've equipped yourself with versatile tools in Excel. Subscribe for more insightful tutorials.